looks like everything's going. And we're waiting for the screen to pop up. My little bit of a delay there, and there we are. Hello, everybody. Uh, Drone 608 here, uh, continuing with the adventures of Fiona. Uh, sorry I'm not able to schedule these streams a little sooner than what I'm supposed to on my scheduling thing. But a lot of things have been happening around my house, and had to make sure all of those got taken care of. I think I'm going to be back on my very regular schedule here of Saturday mornings. So I know a lot of you don't actually join me on Saturday, but watch them afterwards. So I hope you're enjoying it. Um, I do see a few view, quite a f uh, fair number of views on it. Uh, for those of you that do view it after the fact, if you could uh, either leave comments or hit the like button or whatever so that I know that you're actually enjoying it or if you're just popping in and saying, oh, I don't want to watch that, leave me a comment that says that too so that I can maybe go do something that you would like to watch because I can always change my schedule to do something else. Um, it's get, about to get fairly interesting here, I think. Um, we just started up. The next chapter is definitely gotten the uh, the hit that we needed. It's uh, this one here. We finally got the letter from uh, Jumande Adori. And that's the one that tri that triggers you to go into Varnhold. Uh, I believe in the last session, when that after I got that letter, I had to load a... Uh, downloadable content which I had played previously off camera um, so now we can actually go do some of this stuff this here we're just kind of waiting so results of the second attack shouldn't be put off we did that we got the third one <clears throat> at some point we'll get a thing that we have to do this um, we do have a couple of things. We have to do this and this. When we get out to the map, I'll show you where those things are. Um, one of the things I wanted to do was I got a couple things in my inventory that I want to get rid of. Put this by type. This by type. Let's go over here. Uh, this is the letter from Jamandi. <clears throat> so we'll go this through this real quick. Uh, Fiona, I have a problem with no one else to turn to but you. I need someone to travel to a town south of Restov Varnhold. The town was founded by my Garvarn. You met him at the reception that you celebrated a new, new title. I also went over there and met him. I went and visited him. Uh, recently, I've stopped getting reports from him. I didn't pay much attention to it, but in the past week, not a single traveler, merchant, or messenger has come from Varnhold has showed up in Restov. No one knows what happened to the town. If I were you, I would make sure I was ready for this journey. The plains of Dunsward are dangerous. Also, we have yet to find out what it, what was it that, what was it that cut off communication with Varnhold, an attack, arcane magic, or some epidemic or plague. I would have have gladly investigated the matter, but current state of affairs dictates I refrain from dealing with this personally. I'm counting on you and your help. Head out for Dunsward and find out what or who stands behind the vanishing of Varnhold. Your friend and ally, Sword Charm, Sword Lord Jamandia. Authority. Which we found out that she was <clears throat> one of the expeditions that cleaned out the stolen lands, but they never could get back here and take care of them, so it, stuff showed up again. I was one of the uh, elf stories. This here, uh, this is his diary. Um, Fifteen slaves just delivered to Yuslav, made an order for forty. Uh, he had to change the barracks because of the disease, doubled his order. Uh, and then he talks about getting dreams, kind of like our dreams with the, the nymph. I'm going to kind of hold these here for you to read. I'm not going to read all this out loud. There's a lot here. And then he comes out with uh, a name. Narissa comes during my midday naps, so we have somebody named Narissa involved. Uh, and then he's, you know, he was, I'm going to get the Baroness, and of course we didn't, and he ran away, so we don't know where he went. Um, and this was, this is also an interesting letter. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Where did I go? Oh, 
Oh, dang it. Here it is. Um... This talks about uh, the Technique League and what their some of their problems. Disaster on Numeria is finally closed. So I'm going to leave this up for a few seconds. You guys can pause and read these if you want. Um, they're not truly central to our story, but they are definitely interesting lore. Uh, they talk about... Um, Talk about various things that uh, sounded, they sounded almost like, hey, something that we could uh, be running into in the not near future, you know, like in a sequel or something. <clears throat> so, kind of like a whole bunch of stuff that's going on in Numer Numeria here. So I'll start here, count to three, two, three, and I'll scroll down a bit, two, three, gives you enough time to pause it and read it here. And then down here, so you can pause and read this. It's talking about the, the people that they had to beat and their descriptions. And then the very end here, Kalana and all of this. The android nanites take form and fuse, but seem practically inert in response to our experts. Now it's machines, maybe you can find a use for them. So there's that. Okay. I didn't find that box. Um, anyway, I'm going to put these in my thing because I don't want to carry them around. I'm going to keep the keys. I do have a bunch of like plus one rings. Everybody has a plus one or better ring on, so I'm going to go sell these. Um, I'm probably going to keep the belts just for now. I do have a plus two charisma, which I don't know who to give to right now. Uh, I also have, everybody has at least a plus one armor thing, so I don't need that. Uh, I don't really need the bracers of armor class three. I'm keeping this just in case. I don't need the cloak of plus one. So I've got a few things to just go generate a little bit of cash. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to do while I was in here. Um, I have extras of these, so one two three one two try to keep one of each of those just in case uh, i'm pretty sure i don't need to keep any of them but it's nice to have so i'm going to run down here to the storyteller um uh bought some relics it'll just this is just going to give me some cash it's 600 for the two so it's 300 per token of the dryad and it's uh 300 for the warrior dog tags all right so that takes care of that now um let's get there get out of that and uh i'm not sure what's going on here looks like somebody might have jumped in on my thing here I hope this is recording. It looks like it is. It says that I'm live, so I'm going to assume that I'm recording at this point. <clears throat> um, I do have to... Um, if you go look at, like, his book, when we went up a level, he has, like, spells that we're going to need to rest to get. So... Um, I will be going and doing that, but I'm going to go dump some of this inventory. Because also in my journal, I have to go talk to Irlene Ar in the city. So I have to go out here, and we're going to go talk to Irlene. Let it load up here. Doom, da doom, 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 doom. We need to talk. Uh-oh. I think this is what I've been waiting for. Oh, come on, machine. I'm going to pull up my tab, make sure I don't make a mistake here. This is the thing I was waiting for, and I had thought I had messed it up because I hadn't seen it yet. So... Uh, 
So I gotta not say these kinds of lines. Okay. <clears throat> so Tristan looks gaunt and pale. There are shadows under his eyes and mournful wrinkles around the corners of his mouth. And then, like you heard, Fiona, we need to talk. Lately, lately I have been troubling you needlessly. All those questions, conversations, and everything else. I know I distracted you from your duties. It was selfish of me to demand so much of your attention. I promise it won't happen again. Okay. Do not say for. You end a relationship with him if you do. So I can go, what's happened, or I don't understand. I will go, what's happened. Please don't. You are a baroness. The ruler of the Stolen Lands. Protector of hundreds of people. I can't distract you. Especially, especially now when a baron from the neighboring lands has gone missing. The same danger might hover over you. What if... I, I can't let this happen. Okay, I can say, alright, we'll do as you say, but, you, but know that you are breaking my heart. I don't care. Together we can overcome any danger. Do not say number four, because... That will end in relationship. And I'm going to go this way because she's stubborn and wants to be with him. No. Please, think about yourself. About those who depend on you. Many fates hanging by a thread. <sighs> Enough. It's decided. So this is what's called the breakup scene. I will pray to Saren Ray for you. Pulls away and folds his hands in front of him in a gesture of prayer. I will pray to Sarah and Rayview. Okay. So, he's officially broke up with me. And then, further on in the story, from what I understand in the wiki, there's a point where you can uh, basically tell him, come home with me, blah, 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 and you get back together. But you got to go a long way through the story before that'll happen. All right, I'm going to go up here. Um, where's Arlene? Arlene is over here. So we're going to go over here. we got to go talk to her. I'm pretty sure I remember what her quest is, and I just don't think I can do it. There she is. All right, let's talk to Arlene. How can I serve your grace? Describe Lydica so I can find her. I don't know what she looks like. I never paid attention when all he talked about his family and his charming kids and always moving around. I thought I had to... Oh, maybe I have to go to there and do something. Gemstones suitable for crafting. Did I not get the gemstones? Okay, I'm con I'm concerned. Did I already do that? Did I not do something here? Simple failure. Oh, I have to go do some gemstones. Okay. Yeah, I've got to go do some work here, I guess. I thought I did this. Okay, I guess I didn't. All right, um... Then we're going to go do this one, but we got to go rest first. So. All right, I can't actually sell to her. I have to come back to this guy. Give him my magic items. He's one of the vendors I know that stays here for like forever, so that's why I kind of try and sell stuff to him in case I need it. And then we just... Uh, don't need the plus one rings, right? Don't need the plus one cloak, and I don't need the plus one natural armor. This, I'm not sure if I needed to put it on somebody. I don't really have anybody that's charisma based, spellcaster. <clears throat> and I have on. I'm on a wisdom one, right? Yeah, I'm on a wisdom one because wisdom helps me in my armor class. Okay. And he has on a wisdom plus four. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, I don't have anybody that uses... Uh, I get a wisdom plus four again. I'll put it on me and give him the plus two, because it'll help him. Aram. I think wisdom helps her as well. So wisdom's help. Charismas don't really help me. The only one I have that's based on charisma is uh, Lindsay. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, and the armor class 3s I didn't need because I have armor class 4s. And everybody else has on 5s or whatever. 4s become helpful to people like thieves and stuff, but um, not right now. Okay, so we get 6,500. I'll take us up close to a little over 40,000. All right. Um, I guess we're going to just... Yeah, we're just going to run up here. We're going to go back in here. We're going to take a... Go take a nap. Uh, gotta go take a nap. Doom, 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 doom. Gotta take a nap. I do not understand why I'm... clock is weird on my stream. It's showing me in the afternoon rather than right now. I don't understand why that is. And I know if I click over there, I'll get in trouble. So, it says that I have a viewer. So if someone's here, drop me a note in the comments, the chat. Let me know that you're here. Um, I'm going to go jump in the bed so that everybody gets their spells back. We stayed hours. We'll check on our map. Check out here. Make sure nothing's going on in the kingdom that I have to take care of. Don't think there is nothing new. I mean, I do have some rank ups to do, but I really can't. I really don't want to waste the two days doing that. So I'm going to go run a couple of errands. All right, so. I need to get way down here by the door. <clears throat> and then we're going to go hunt some poachers. That's one of our errands. Um, we're just going to... Let's just take what we've got. I don't have any. Got a robe of air. Leather armor. This one. What weapons did I take? Oh, I was going to get rid of this keen scimitar because I really don't need it. Well, I can... I guess I can do that. Why don't I just leave that here? And we will leave the robe of air here. These I might need on my travels, so I'll keep those with me. Okay, uh, let's go back out. We'll leave this time think for what I'm going to end up doing we're going to take these two they don't let me switch them around in here so I got to switch them around when I get out on the road Put people in the right place to try and make sure we're in the right formation. Uh, if I remember right, Amiri's got to go here. And he's got to go here. I think that makes the formation work out right. Okay, places I need to go, people I need to see. I want to go to this place because it gives me some arcane. And the reason why I'm going in this direction is because right over here is... Uh, Swamp Witch's Hut, which is where the poachers are, which is what we got to need to go do. So we're going to go take care of the poachers. 12 hours. Uh, takes forever.
there is a project that lets you like make your roads better and you get to go faster through the woods but uh, I'm gonna claim that because it'll give me two more in my stuff and then we're gonna go to the village actually we're probably gonna have to rest before we get there aren't we that'll be 25 oh we get someone on the road and it's not something I can avoid. I have to go talk to him. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Or maybe I do. Is this the skeleton? Is this skeleton guy? Or is this something worse? Oh, no. This is what's worse. Oh, the poachers are right here. Okay, everybody stop. And we're kind of in the right order. Um, formation. That's right, I went into this formation. Is it number one? Yes, it's number one that I prefer to be in for these things. So we're going to just go like right here. Get everybody in the right order, because we've got the wolf. Yes, we need to go get them. So we're probably gonna get in a fight. I thought that they were further south. Their life ends here. Okay, so we're gonna get some poachers here. Okay, so he did some kind of... What did he cast? He cost greater invisibility. Okay, where are we at? She can't do anything, and of course it started to rain. Bloody heck. All right, he's a spellcaster, go get him. Um, I have somewhere here. Aren't I the one that has it? Oh, what the hell? Um, I thought that I had. Or is it a scroll? Is it a scroll? No. I don't have a scroll. More potion. Bloody heck. I thought I had a scroll of see invisible. But I don't. And greater invisibility is going to be a problem. Well, bloody heck. I thought he had seen... Maybe it's Lindsay that has see invisible. Maybe it's Lindsay. Okay. Um, normally, I would have... I forgot to cast my buffs there, so I'm just going to go with a bless here. Get us back here. And then move over to the side. Um, terrible rain storm. But I can go after him with four shots. I know they're going to have problems hitting because of the rain. Got him down some. Now, Lindsay, you can sing. Um, see invisibility communal. We can all see invisible. Yeah. And then the guys get to go. So really beating up on Amiri, but I can see you. And she can 
charge that one. And I should be... Oh, bloody heck. Um... Did fight take him down? He's got a lot of hit points. All right, he's gonna try and kill him. And we took him out when he after he cast his spell. Uh, Amiri, you can't see him, so hit him. Take him out. Yeah, you're gonna miss him because he's concealed. Uh, I can actually see him, so I'm going to cast one of these on him. Get started on him. How many hit points does he have? He's got like 96 hit points, huh? Cannot hide from me. Shouldn't be missed on concealment. Oh, from the what? From the web stuff. Lindsay. He's really high level, so I don't think it's gonna work, but you're gonna try it anyway. Yeah, he made his will. So he's gonna take Amiri down. I'll survive. I always survive. Alright. Pupper? Take care of that dude. And what did they have? They've got a chest of lizard folk skins. Hide armor. Turquoise. Plus one ring, probably. Some kind of a magic light crossbow. Well, let's collect all that. Take a look in our inventory. What did we get? Somewhere in the Narrow Marches, so we found him. So we didn't have to go all that far. I thought we had to go all the way down there. Okay, um. What did I pick up here? I picked up a light crossbow plus one. Falchon. Falchon. Falchon's damage wise. God, stop! Um. We're 2D4s. So. Alright. Well, I guess we solved our journal problem. We have to show Sherelle. Okay. Um. Yeah, she's fatigued at the moment. And Mary's slowing us down because she's fatigued because she raged. And we're walking in water in rain. I'm just making sure there's nothing else on the map that we might have missed. It usually isn't on these things, but every once in a while they drop a, a tidbit for you. So you want to check them out, just in case. So that's all I'm doing. If I remember right, this is like a set piece thing that you don't ever see like this thing again. You never see this map again, if I remember right. Uh, just in case. Share your trouble. Do a couple of these. Just to get a Mary back up in the green. Okay. Get everybody out. Onto the road again. Okay, so... I thought I had to go all the way down to... The hags thing. Let's check here. Cheryl. I'm wondering why I have to go to the hags thing. I'm going to keep going here. 
Um, because I can get into the village, I can rest. Just go into the village. I can solve some of their junk. Too bad your traveling chest doesn't come to villages with you like this. Only goes up to, uh... Okay, um... I don't have anybody that really uses these. Hide armor plus one, chain shirt plus one, hide armor plus one. I really like to give these to my guys in back in the city. So I don't think I have anything I really want to give him. Oh, I can give him these. All of 20 gold pieces. Um, he has butter. Want all the butter I can find. I have another. I have to go, I guess, to. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, no. I want to take my. Take my butter. Okay. And then we come back over here. And we're going to just do a rest. Where's the rest menu? Just, just rest here in the village because it doesn't cost me any supplies. Get back out on the map. See if anything happened. See if anything popped up in my kingdom. Since I'm in the middle of my kingdom. Nothing's popped up. This is still saying search for poacher somewhere in the marsh. So I guess I have to go here. Is there more of them here? I can't remember how this quest. This is <laughs> this is one of those quests that I just kind of do by knee-jerk reaction, and I don't really pay close attention. Uh... Well, there's one of my friends on Steam, just like me. Uh, is there anybody else around here? Maybe not. Okay, and if I come down here by her... Come down here by her. Where are we at? Uh, she's up here. And I can just go talk to her. How much for your potions? Yeah, she's one of the ones I sold a bunch of things to. She's got Belt of Constitution plus two. Why did I give her a Constitution belt? Usually I hang on to those. Uh, scroll freedom of movement, scroll of restoration, lesser, main cartel, scroll of vanish. She's got serious wounds, displacement, and blur. She doesn't have any real potions anymore. She does have a natural armor of two. reason I sold her a bunch of stuff. Either that or she gets things up. She's got a ring of protection plus two. Okay, I gotta keep that in mind. 816. I don't want to take off 16,000 off my stuff right now. She's got 16,000 worth of stuff here. Well, it looks like I've been selling her rings of protection plus one. So I could give her that. Gives me a thousand. What are they usually worth? Am 
only worth a f 500 to her. Worth 25%? Is that right? Is that all I get for these things? Yeah, I guess I only get 25% from anybody. Never really paid much close attention. Well, I'll give her those. So there's a ring of protection plus two. And there's a... A natural armor plus two. That's 16,000 to pick those up. And I don't really... I don't need them for this group, I don't think. All right, uh, let's double check. What's he got on? He has a ring of protection plus one, so he could use a two. She's got a two. She's got a one. So I could use some twos. I have a two. She has a one. Energy source and a two. So I could definitely use the two. Natural armor, she's got a two. She's got a two. I don't wear one, I wear these instead. He has a one. She has a two. She has a two. So a two would give him one. And another ring of plus two. Which I could put like on a Miri. Right? No, she's got on a plus two. He has a plus one. She has a plus one. So I put it on my bard. Right? Alright, we're gonna spend the money. We're gonna get that. And we're gonna get that. Alright, uh, let's get out of here. Inventory time. Lindsay. I'm gonna put on the plus two. And Ekin is going to get this plus two. She's a twenty six, she's a twenty five, she's a thirty five, I'm a twenty eight, she's a twenty three, and he's a 21 for somebody with no armor, that's pretty good. And we gave him the thing that makes his strength, con, and dex better. Plus the wisdom thing on his head. Okay, got it. Alright. Spent a little money. I didn't find anybody here. We're going to go back out. We're going to try and head back to... Where do we got to go? That's the question. Where do I have to go? I think I have to go... Alright, so there was nothing really to do here. I've got to get back all the way to here. Right? That's where Cheryl is, isn't it? Take one day and 16 hours. Okay. One day and 16 hours to get to there. How long to get back here? One day and six hours. I can save 10 hours by going here and teleporting there. Are there any arcane thingies I need to get out here? I don't see any arcane thingies. And I have to go I have to go back that way. We're gonna go back to here. Um, I have the ability to teleport between that one that's really far out and the one that's close in. Uh, if I can get Peaceful Travelers, let's go talk to them. Peaceful travelers, that doesn't happen. There's no such thing as peaceful travelers. All right, I don't trust Something that they're peaceful travelers. You? Yes, I don't trust that they're peaceful travelers. I'm going to, going to cast all my things.
Okay. They claim they're peaceful travelers. We will find out. Is it the salesman? Ah, it's the salesman. And I just spent all my money. He's probably going to have something really good, and I just spent all my money. Alright. Shock. Counter Bane, Heavy Crossbow. Flaming Comma, 2 plus 2. Corrosive Verbin Bane, Dwarven Warhax. <laughs> the Ring of Corrosion. One point of damage per die roll. Scale Metal Resistance, Quenchless Light. Plus two fairly grand sword, plus two bonus and same throws against all spells of the Necromancy School. Rat Catcher's Buckler. Killer plus four morale bonus against the attack of vermins. <laughs> uh, that's all he has. Uh, let's sell him the ring of plus one. There you go. Um, he's got a silver ring. You can have that. You can have that. Wait, I don't need those. That's stuff I'm keeping. Just have to show it to Sherelle. And I don't think I need anything else from him. These are all magical armors, right? Plus one hides. I'll never use these. I'll never use hide armor. Just give him the hide armors. Uh, will I ever use a chain shirt plus one? I think my girls have better have at least chain shirt plus ones. I don't think I'll ever use it. Just get some money out of it. All right. Bye, dude. Back out we go. So, Skeleton Salesman shows up semi-regularly. Every... If you're out on the world, I think it's like every other month, maybe, he shows up to do things. And when you change chapters, his inventory tends to get a little better. All right, just get me back home. May we have a moment of respite? Uh, no. Not till we teleport to Tazelford. Then we'll go into Tazelford. Then we can rest here after we talk to Cheryl. You broke up with me. What? Nice, don't you think? No. I'm going to run you all into the ground because he broke up with me, and I'm despaired. This is Shrill. This is the one I need to talk to. Alright, we show Shrill. Have I was whistling carelessly. He gives you a graceful bows. He sees you. It's good to see you. How can I help you? There's a stripped off murdered lizard folk. Shrill looks frightened. He touches the skins with evident disgust. They're skinned very skillfully. There's no doubt about it. The butcher's meant to use these skins for leather work. If they were just trying to scare someone into a with a bloody murder, they would have made more cuts. But here they made the least. The butcher was clearly saving the skin. I was right. Mahalan is buying the skins of lizard folk. He's a monster. Thank you for your support. Now I have all the evidence I need. Now I've taken too much of your time. I will go to the guards and see the monster rest of myself. I lost the lizard. Okay, he does his thing. I have to see you at any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I've advanced his quest. Uh, do I need to... Is a priest here? Could use the help of a cleric. Does he have... Oh, he's got scrolls. I didn't realize that. I always forget that I have this out here. I've got to remember that even in my villages I have these things. Because, like, I can pick up these. I know I'm going to need these. <laughs> In the not too distant future, I'm gonna need a whole bunch of these. Scroll of Death Warts. Cause there's stuff that's gonna drain. They're undead everywhere where I'm going. Not right away, but in the end I'm gonna need to get a bunch of those. <clears throat> okay, um, so I've done this. Um I have to go home. Um, check my journal. I have to go the other way. So I need to jump back to... Let's get 
get out here, I should be able to teleport back. May we have a moment of respite? Yeah, there's stuff going on in my kingdom, so, yep, we can, just a second. We're going to teleport back to our capital, Tuskdale, and then we're going to enter, and we're going to go right to the throne room. Because something happened, we had to do something. Something, something. <laughs> Adventures. Would be nice, don't you think? Yep, here we go. Lindsay broods upon the letter she's holding in her hands. I received this today, an official letter from Razmirin with a trade proposal. It seems the barony has grown large enough to excite curiosity even in odd corners of the River Kingdoms. It's just that Lindsay sighs. I don't think Razmirin would like the be would make the best ally, since their self-proclaimed god, Razmir, rules there. Tyranny has flourished across the country, and they think little of their neighbors. They just occupy any lands they can. Okay. If I were you, I would politely decline their trade agreement. Who knows, maybe it's a trick. Although the terms seem profitable. Lindsay looks at the letter again. If I support it. Trade agreement with Razmirin. Okay. I, it's not worth it. Reject the proposal. I will have this matter. Tell me about this Razmir. He's a quirky fellow. He took took a kingdom, took over a kingdom, and persuaded all the locals that he's a living god. He installed his henchmen in all the key positions, and now rules as he pleases, oppressing the population. The more I think about it, the less I like the idea of dealing with him. He has repeatedly expanded the territory of his own kingdom by occupying his neighbors. Just an attitude towards other countries is seriously worrying. All right, we'll reject this proposal. Ah, truth be told, I'm glad. I wouldn't feel good about dealing with a rascal like this. Improved diplomacy. Trade agreement with Galt. Trade agreement with Gralton. Support the grand diplomat's effort so she can go. That's nice. She can take their thing up a level, I guess. All right, that was our big event, huh? Nothing else is... Oh, something's going on here. Oh, is that just her? I bet you that's just her. Right? Oh, no. Rats, rats everywhere. What do we get? Oh, we got a triumph. So, plus one community, plus one loyalty, plus two relations, plus two stability. Oh, okay. Cool. I think there was another one that got done. Red light. She got a triumph. Plus two relations. I wonder. Okay. Relations are taken off. Anyone wants to escort and post matters, which we just did. Okay. Uh, there's projects. There's too many projects. There's a new rank up, right? Okay. There's a new rank up. There's a bunch of economies. That's the trade agreement, the trade agreement, and improved diplomacy. Plus three build points each time she successfully resolves the situation. <laughs> Cost me 65 to get it. She'd have to resolve uh, 22 to pay it back. She'd have to resolve 22 things to get it back. And it doesn't really actually give her a bonus, does it? See, it just gives you three build points. It sounds good, but you, if you do the math, she's got to solve 22 things before the end of the game just to pay it back. So it's really not worth it. Now, if it was like she gets plus one with her diplomatic efforts, that would be something I'd invest in. But. Okay, so that's all of that. There's no outstanding events. It's going to be at least four days for Aram, seven days for her, and over two weeks for Val to get anything done. Um... Event is resolved by an advisor with a successor triumph result. The respective stat is reduced by one. The increase in the respective stat is reduced by one. So I should be getting like plus threes and plus fours, and I'm getting plus twos and plus threes, and plus twos and plus ones, instead of plus twos and plus threes. Okay. I don't know how to get rid of that. What was the thing I had to do with that? Uh, it's got to be under economy, right? Cover from the pestilence. 
Costs 100 gold coins, takes 60 days, takes two weeks. And he's. It has to be like Aram does that. Or Octavia. Because I know what's going to happen with him. And with a 14, I don't want him. I want him to do short things. And he's doing the expert mountaineering, which will be also a little over two weeks. Okay. So we're out of there. We have to go rest. So let's go take our rest. Ah, uh, jump into bed again. Ancient Curse Varsity. I guess there's going to be something out here. Yep, here we go. Hooray, we did it! Another attack has been repelled, and the Baron is stronger than ever. Your grateful subjects even brought you a gift to honor this outstanding success. Gold coins, 8,600. So I got back some of the money I spent on items. Okay. Unfortunately, now is no time to rest. While everyone was preparing for the last attack, I was looking for a way to overcome the curse. I read some ancient books, talked to the locals, and then I had a word with our storyteller. And we decided that, well, he'll tell it better. Storyteller clears his throat. I am the keeper of stories, Your Grace, and I have amassed a respectable collection over my long life. There are, of course, stories of curses among them, ancient and dark, having taken thousands of lives, destroyed kingdoms, and brought down... Well, our curse isn't exactly a real curse. We think it's somewhat specific behind these attacks. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Realizing she interrupted the storyteller, Lindsay turns bright red. This is one where I've, you know, having experienced even their later, um, their rogue trader the stuff, um, they're getting better at, like, this would be a, a, a point where you would, you would have the actors actually talking over each other and stuff, the voice actors. Um, if you have the money. I mean, you gotta have the budget to do it and the will to do it, but, um, since we're not getting into super graphics here, I think it would be much, it'd be much easier to do in their kind of games because they're not doing a lot of, like in Baldur's Gate 3, there was a lot of motion capture too to get all the CGI, to get the high definition graphics. We don't have that here, so the voice acting would be even more uh, immersive because you don't really have the sprites being, you know, super detailed and whatever, but just having their voices popping up now and again, especially in throne room scenes, well, you know it's scripted. You know, if you hit the right triggers, this is the script that's going to come out. So you could have a whole voice acting crew just go through and do all the the these dialogues out on the out on the road and stuff. Not necessarily so much, but in here, this would have been really neat to have all the different voices popping up and talking to you. But we aren't going to get that. Tristan first pale. It's not a curse. Then what is it? This isn't a curse. What then? What could it be? I'm more interested in defeating it than understanding it. Tristan turns pale. Uh oh. It's not a curse. Then what is it? If this isn't a curse, then what could it be? We don't know yet, but that part doesn't matter. Weighs your hand carelessly. What's important is that we're finally making some real progress. <laughs> I would imagine that the person behind these attacks is someone harboring great evil against you and your barony. I would not be surprised if it's the same adversary who once who was behind the bloom. I agree. After the last attack, I got the feeling that the owlbears and manicores came here as revenge for what we did to the ever-blooming flower. Whoever or whatever caused these attacks, I'm sure they will continue. We must be ready to repel the next one. That's exactly what we'll do. Sooner or later, the villain will show herself. Once he slips up, we can finally punish him for all the trouble he's caused. Lindsay frowns belligerently. She chuckles faintly. I didn't expect such vitriol from you, Lindsay. In any case, I would advise hearing this villain out before punishing him. We still have no idea why this unknown enemy is targeting us in particular. I'm sure we'll know our foe's face soon enough. We've repelled his attacks three times now. He must be reaching the limits of his patience. He won't get away this forever. You want to bet, Lindsay? There's like six chapters, so you you know you get an attack every chapter. <laughs> Yep, and then now if we go into the journal, we now have Ancient Curse Part 4. We have 231 days to get done with our stuff. Actually, it's about 14 days less than that. But So we got a little over 200 days to get done with all of our stuff, this whole series of things that we have to do. Um, I need to go do this. What is this?
Await his arrest. Okay, so I have to wait on that. This one, I have to go to Ollie's wife who lives at Lake Silverstep might know something. Well, it may be. All she knows is he was going to a cleft near the barony southern border. Oh, that's right. I needed to go find someplace down on the southern border. All right, so I have to finish these things off. Okay. So out we go. We're on the road again. Trying to clean up these things. This is uh, just annoying. Load up, machine. I see on the second person's out here watching with me. Welcome, welcome. Um, well, at least some comments in the chat. So, you got questions or anything? What's this? Didn't I do this? Yes. A visitor awaits in the castle. Paper people. 21 days. I ain't got 21 days for anybody. Do I? I guess I could send Lindsay on it. Two of regards to audit and organize the chance for this sounds tempting, but what could we offer the Ambassador of Druma in return for their service? What's the die roll? A DC-27. A DC-27. So if I had Lindsay going, she'd have to roll 17. Wow. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth the 21 days. I mean, he would have to roll 12. Right? Yeah, only 45% chance. No, uh-uh. No, I think we're going to let that opportunity go. <laughs> I don't want to tie somebody up on something that's not likely to succeed. Okay. Uh, I was leaving. Right? And I had to go somewhere on the Southern Kingdom side? Is it down here? this. It's just culture. It's economy. I think it's over here. Alright. Uh, take me nine hours to get here. Take a little trip to the side, claim that. I think it's down here. I don't think it was this one. Right? There it is. Dragon Leaf Gulch, I think, is where I needed to go. Do I want to enter this version? Yes, let's go into Dragon Leaf Gulch. Put up our buffs. Come along, come along, come along. Load up map. Buffing Confide time. I wrote it like I saw it. I'll take care of it. Damn. It's one of the things they did do for you in um, in their next one, in the Wrath of the Righteous series, is they put the animals in the bar down here so that you could cast the spells like this fang thing. You could just click on the portrait down here. Here they don't do that. You have to do it on the map. So that was something that was missing before. All right. Uh, we're buffed up as much as we can be. So everybody are going this way. I can't remember if, where I have to go for this. I think I have to fight something along the way. If I remember right. I do what I must. Uh, is it here that I get across? Yes. 
here that I go across the water. And up the hill. I think this is Ollie. And we have to fight something. We have to fight a poisonous giant fly trap. I don't want to fight a poisonous giant fly trap. But I have to fight a poisonous giant fly trap. Come on, poisonous giant fly trap. Finish them quick. We will try. It's very hard. It's a very big thing. It's got 16 levels. And it's poisonous. But I don't care because I'm a dog. I'm a wolf. I'm going to move to here. And I'm going to attack it. And I took a bite out of it. 26 hit points and like, <laughs> no, no touching it. Okay. She's mad because it's a plant. So she's going to rage. And go hit it. Down! Teen reduced. So it's immune to acid. Okay. Now it gets to beat up on our Miri. Oh, it beats up the dog. Did not like the dog, huh? All right, uh, Lindsay, why don't you see? And haste us off. Get done with this in a quick hurry. And you're just gonna go back to your inventory. Where's the inventory? Uh, I'm just gonna go get another bless scroll for now. Just make it easier for us all. Uh, move to here. Do this and get everybody. You're done. Let us strike at one. And miss. Needed a four. Roll to three. <laughs> Needed a four. Roll to three. <clears throat> That's the story of my life in this game sometimes. Just can't hit worth a doodly squat. Five shots. No way to run. The acid part isn't helping, but the damage is. We've got him about halfway down. And now Fiona can only get up there and hit him once. You should have run. And missed because he's concealed. Uh, Popper. And Amiri? <laughs> it's got just enough to kill the puppy. Lindsay! Scream at it! Oh, I hate those things. What's all I got? It's got fruit and honey. It's the only reason why you want to kill them. And there's something over there. It's got a padded armor, a short sword, a couple magic things, some food, and one of the shards of the ring. Yay! I can go up to six of those now. Okay. And then, what's his name should be... Yeah, this is the... Is this Ollie? Yes, this is Ollie. Alright, we gotta give those to Erlene. I think that's all that's out here. Um... Once a girl told me my eyes light up her world. I said that the blessing of Saren Ray will light up her soul. She seemed disappointed. Well, Aqua is up to pretty good hit points here. Fireflies, can we catch the fireflies? They won't let us catch the fireflies. We can't be little kids and catch fireflies, huh? Alright, where am I on the map? That's pretty much the whole thing. Okay. I don't think there's anything on the other side there. Yeah, see, they don't even have extra space up there. Off the edges. Yeah, we pretty much have it all. Alright, so we come down here. 
gotta run this way just to clear up, make sure we clear out the map as much as we can. Don't think I can get across here, right? No. There's another map like this where you come in like on this side into this corner to do something in some other little minor quest thingy. All right, so we've done this. Oh, how do I do that for? It's easier for me to get to here this way. So we're going to go out here, and we're going to go tell what's-her-name about her husband. Am I in my kingdom still? I'm still in my kingdom. What happened? Jubilus demands an audience. He demands an audience. And the braided man. This is an opportunity. It takes 14 days. A DC of 22. Now we perform a bloody ritual called the braided man, which involves a human sacrifice. The ritual promises to grant a beautiful, bountiful harvest, but it is ethic. But is it ethical to burn someone to ashes for the sake of an abandoned harvest? Abundant harvest. Does it take 14 days? It said. It takes 14 days. Huh? I'll let him try it at a 65% chance. I'm not going to waste a thing on that. Because it's an opportunity. Paper people. That was too much. And Jubilist, I have to get back home. But I'll be home in a minute, Jubilist. I got other things I got to do. Okay. I need to go tell her that her husband's dead. So I need to go up to here. God, that takes forever. Why can't I run through here? It's just mountains. I can't go this way? May we have a moment of respite? I guess I can't. Alright, uh, we do need to rest. Gotta manage this because we got all sorts of people in the wrong places. That's Amiri's job. Your job's to go over here. Your job's to do the camouflage. And your job's to stand watch with me. And we are going to go for... Do we have any? Oh, I don't have any. I don't have anything. Chocolate ice cream is nice. Plus through bonus to all skill checks for a day. And I can do it ten times right now. Uh... Well, shepherd's pie doesn't really help us. Sweet pancakes doesn't really help us. Doesn't really help us. We needed fish on a stick or galt rug out. No, I don't have either. How rude. How rude, how rude, how rude. Um... Well, let's do Shepherd's Pie. We have a lot for that. Okay. You practice so much and always by yourself. Aren't you tired of doing the same lunges over and over again? How about we work together? Fine, why not? But it won't replace my practice. For me, the most important asset in battle is discipline, self-control, and iron will. Yeah, but you keep failing your will saving throws and fear things and stuff, dear. <laughs> You're not very good at, at those kind of saving throws. It's a problem. All right, so we got through that. Um, I guess we'll just go in here and see what's in here. Ironstone Gully. This is a bad thing to go to. Am I ready for this? Probably not. I'm listening. Yeah, you're going to cast your spells. Share your trouble. 
Dayan. I can't remember what was in Ironstone Gully. Pretty sure I'm high enough level to handle it, whatever it is. I'm off. Yeah, the greater giant spiders. Yep, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Greater giant spiders. Yeah, we're fine. Here, let's right be here, my friend. I shall end this suffering. See what I mean? I can get to one. He's got the same problem, we just can't quite get to him. to attack me, do they? Well, in that case, I will take an extra attack. And we'll start with you. Strike. Took that one down. I took that one down. And Puffer, take that one down. There's still one left. Oh, there's still some back there. Come along, Mary. We have to wait for it to come to us. Just in. We'll just take a shot. Val? Onwards. Ekin? Poor Mary's not going to get to swing on any of them. Mary didn't get to swing on any of them. Okay. Oh, there's a bag over here. There's a bag. There's a bag. There's a bag. It's edible moss. That's important for one of my ingredients. For one of my meals. If I remember right, there's like nothing really in here. <laughs> if I remember this place right. Now that I'm starting to run wander in here, I'm like, yeah, I think I remember this. It's like a whole bunch of spiders and a whole lot of nothing. Come over here and you get into a big room. I think there's another batch of spiders I have to deal with. Yeah, I'm it's like there. a branching thing. There's nothing up here. Gotta go up here and fight something. Yeah, the tremendous centipede. 92 hit points. There's a couple of them. So we just have her cast ace. And we just have him start on that. Nowhere one. to run. Now the beginning of the hunt. See what I mean? <laughs> We're kind of uh, okay here. So this one's almost gone. Lindsay, you're gonna sing. Val, I don't think you can charge to any of them. 
Right? Right. Okay. So you move up next to Pupper. You kind of move up like this way. And then Tristan... I don't think you can throw it downrange far enough, can you? Oh, you could. And that, like, takes out most of them, and then there's, like, a couple more over here. I can't get there fast enough. And she can't get there fast enough. Let's just kind of form a front line. Upper. Nope. This is the one. That's the one to act next. Get rid of it. Lindsay. I don't think you can do anything. Right. Oh, upper's got to be done. Lindsay. Go ahead and shoot it. Then we took care of it, and there's nothing. Really, by the animals, you have to go over here. There's a thingamajig. Got a silver buckle. Herbs in one of these things. And then up this way is another bag somewhere. More edible moss. Which you're going to have to fight for. This is just fighting a whole bunch of bugs. It's very annoying. I will protect. Two, three. But I aim true. And there's a big bug behind it. Oh, a bunch of big bugs. he gets skipped, but okay. Um, well, I got five shots. I might as well start there. It's good to have a gun, isn't it? I mean, I could charge, but I think I'm just going to stand my ground. What can I do? Oh, I can do this. That'll help. Level fire, level five fireball. Get rid of a bunch of guys in front of us. We still have one left. What is it? Oh, we have big ones left. We have a couple of big ones left. Okay. All right, Amiri, time to rage up. Go get it. He's gonna come in. You forced my hand. Akin. Cannot hide from me. 
Good to have a gun. Interesting. Uh huh. We found an interesting, whatever that is. Let's take that. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. What's this? What's the interesting? Aha! Interesting. In due time. Let's read this. Subtle tint of red on the stone surfaces suggests the location of rich iron ore vein lying around. Okay. This guy doesn't have anything on him, but he does have a box. Anything else? Oh, we got a helmet. Chocolate! 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 Chocolate's more important than anything. You got chocolate. Headband of alluring charisma plus four. Okay. Uh, inventory. My dear, what have you got on? You've got a plus four. So we can give the plus four in charisma to somebody who needs it. Right? Is that what her... I don't remember what her ability is that she uses for her thing. I don't know. I gotta remember. I gotta figure that out. Uh -huh. I'll read a wiki on which stat is used for which person, you know, which uh, kingdom stat, because it's based off their, uh, one of their stats in their stat line, like stealth, uh, this, the espionage one is based on your stealth, I think the counselor that Valerie is, I think it's based on her charisma, anyway, okay, I can come back down this way, can I come this way? I can't get through. I can't get through. I'm stuck. How rude. All right. There's another place to go down here. There'll be some more bugs to fight. More bugs, more bugs, more bugs. We're Orkin. We're the Orkin men. We're coming to exterminate the bugs. I don't know why we're exterminating the bugs, but we are. Just because we can, I guess. Very many spiders. <laughs> Very many spiders. Uh, Just letting the ink dry. Oh, uh, let's just walk in. There. there we are. So there's one, two, three, four. Okay, four that I see. Upper. Oh, go charge that giant spider. Didn't quite take it out. No oh, rude. Back it. You can only get off one shot. Nowhere to run. Um. I don't have anything to do here. Um, can I charge that one? There's something here. Yes, I saw it. It's right there. Lindsay, um, you can only do one thing. Go ahead and sing this turn. Step up. You can't quite get there. Uh, if she rages and charges, she should be able to get to this one. Uh, that takes care of that one. Pupper, take care of this one. And move this way. Back in. Uh, you can get four shots there. Okay, one. Two. Got two out of three. Oh, there's a whole bunch more here. That I didn't see before. Coming from everywhere. All right, they're everywhere. Shoot this one. Try to make this swift. All right, extra attack. 
Don't hold back. This strike, my masterpiece. And then move towards another one. Lindsay. We are not centralized. I think that gets everybody. We really need that. All right, Val. Stay behind me. I needed a two, and I rolled a one. <laughs> All right, Mary, just get rid of this one. Go. Head back. Upper. Time to be a gun again, Deccan. My god, they're just... They're coming out of the woodwork, aren't they? Let's see these things show up. Alright, Tristan. I think it's time for you to move to, like, right here. And then you're going to call back this thing. You're going to cast this spell. Like, right here. Fiona. This will hurt. Lindsay. Okay. Val? Let us strike as one. Keep rolling ones, Val. How about the big one? Can you get the little one? There's still one left, there's still one left. Move towards it. Pupper, there's still one left. Ekin, there's still one left. Cannot hide from me. Finally. Way too many spiders. Definitely a job for the Orc of Men. Way too many spiders. Now, there was a box over here. Okay. We got this, 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 this. Completely useless. And then this stuff, we get spider's legs for the goblin. Mushrooms! That's good for some, some, something or other. Um, I don't see anything else. All right. Nothing hiding. Back in the corners. Nope, let's get out of here. We're done cleaning up all the spiders. We gotta get out of here. We need to get up to Silver Step, and it's a long way away. Cause we need to go tell her about her husband. Not being alive. Then we gotta get back to our city so I can finish off our Irlene's thingamajiggy. That's what we're gonna be doing here today. We're just trying to run around doing a bunch of errands and we'll head up north. All right, let's get out of here. 10 hours out of the mountains. Gotta get out of the mountains. Get some speed going. All right, to the bridge. Just, just keep fighting. You guys are here to watch me fight these things, right? See how these guys all work together? Oh, we're in the middle of freaking rainstorms. Gotta get tired of this.
control hounds. That means we gotta hit them with fire. We don't have any way of hitting them with fire. All right, pupper. Go charge one. Now he can hit him with acid. Shoot that one. Nowhere to run. She's got acid. She's got flame. Lindsay, all you can do is uh, sing. I really don't have anything. I can like move to here so I can do a heal next turn, right? All right, now I can actually get up here you and hit this one. Run. Akbo? Not dead, dead. I aim to. Make him dead, dead. Oh, there's more coming. That's okay. Put them all down here where we can see them. Bring it. A one. I need a two, and I get a one. Ridiculous. Ridiculous game. Do not fall down. Is her song still going or she can't sing her song? All right, she's gonna run up here. Don't stand up and let him hit you. Hit him. Tear them apart. Miss him again. I need two and I roll ones. I really like ones today. Critical fails everywhere. Onward. Finish it. Make sure it doesn't get up. Lindsay, sing. And shoot. You deserved it. And shoot. So what's coming to this? And we took him down. Yay. Yay us. I guess. Let's get him. Collect it. That's all it's going to be in here. Oh, there's something down here. See it, collect it. Just got run over by a bunch of troll hounds. Ugh. I was not expecting troll hounds. All right, when something bothering you? Okay. 
Not that. I want to check the dog. All right, everybody's at full. Out we go. Everybody out the door. Okay. I mean, it's a few extra experience points, so that's why I take those things on. But, I mean, I have to get to here. I'm not going to give her the gemstone. Right? Well, I need to go talk to her. I think I'm going to have to rest again. <laughs> Adventures can wait. All right, go into the village and rest there. This is not really a village in my thing. It's just sort of a location. Okay. Um. I actually want to go over here and see if I can buy some, like, chickens. Right? The chickens and fish. They have fish here, right? Don't they have fish here? I got somebody here who sells fish. I think he's here. He's either here or down here. He's down here. We gotta go down here. I got somebody here that sells fish. I'm pretty sure. I think the vendor here can sell me some fish. Food-wise. Because I need fish on a stick to be able to travel farther. Get an extra four hours of travel. Every game day here. Yeah. Brevis, I believe, is the idiot. Fishman's driver were unfounded. He wasn't some dragon messenger. He was a werewolf. Got a cable attack. I didn't come to talk. No, I just want to talk to this guy. Uh, food? He's got one trout. One bloody trout. One bloody trout. All right, I need to come down here. This is Litka. I need to talk to her. Found Ellie's body. I'm sorry. There she was. It's not understanding what you just said. Then she buries her face in her palms and turns away. The Baron will support you now that you've lost your provider. That's a lawful good thing. I don't get to do many lawful good things. I'm going to do the lawful good thing. Good blinks away the tears and looks at you in astonishment. Thank you, Your Grace. Thank you for not letting our children starve. And me? I'm nothing without my alley. I performed a good action and I lose a build point each week. Oh well. That's the way it goes. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Oh, um, okay. I don't care. Um, I need to go rest someplace. Let's go rest by the door. We'll do a fish on a stick. I have one. I don't know if I can do that. I'm fish? Is trout good enough? I might not be able to do that. Come on, get over here, you dummies. Taking too long. I know you're for day to get to right here, and then we can do a campsite. By all my other campsites. Fish on a stick, I can do one fish on a stick. The bowstring came undone again, and the shoulders creak. A good solid bow. It will last for a long time. I'll fix it, and Torag will bless it. You've got, like, magic bows out your butt, buddy. <laughs> you don't need to worry about your bow. It's not going to break. All right, we got through that. Here we go. 
Where are we going here? Uh, dum 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 dum. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this. It says that I'm live, but it doesn't show me. The timeline down on the bottom of my thing doesn't show me that. Um. Okay, I'm in my kingdom, right? What's going on that I missed here? Aram got a triumph. What is divine? White deer with bloody antlers is seen in the forest. Could it be a sign of the Esperos? No. This is has been covered. It's revealed to the high priest in a dream that the colloquial cleric of Aristotle fell in love with a young peasant girl and killed her fiancé in a jealous rage. The god's followers found the dead body in the forest, brought the murderer to justice, and Aristotle's good graces were restored. Okay. That's kind of a little sticky. All right, it's going to be three more turns for her. Uh, it's going to take forever. Jubilist demands an audience. I have to go talk to Jubilist. All right, well, if I go back to Erleen with the gemstones. So I got to go back there. It'll take me 18 hours, which is about my total traveling time. So away we go. And then we will head out north. I think I'll have all these nonsense things done. And then we'll head north towards north and east. Let's go in here. Shall we go talk to Jubilist? No, let's go talk to Erlene first. Then we'll go talk to Jubilist. Clay lords of the first world are called the Eldest. These creatures have godlike powers, inhuman logic, and immense ambition. Basically, DM, do whatever the, whatever the heck you want with whatever powers you wish to have. No restraints. She's over here. I need to go talk to her. Boogity 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 wop. Caroline, here are your gemstones. 180 experience points. This chest costs the gemstones size and relief. None are missing. What a relief. Rest assured, now I can strike a deal with my new partner. Come back in a week. I'm sure I'll have good news for you by then. Yeah, okay. I have to go. I won't be here in a week, Arlene. I probably won't visit you until I'm done with the quest. Uh, let's see if... Um... How many do I need? Down to 18, huh? Five days worth. Okay. Back up here to the throne room. We gotta go talk to Jubilus. He's gonna be mad. He's gonna be mad. He's always mad. Jubilus is always mad about something. Doesn't like the way I run my kingdom. So I'm awful good. He's got a neutral. So law and chaos. Bangy heads here. Here we go. Doomless. Amazing. You managed to save your barony from an invasion of monsters from the first world, but you were not able to protect it from the attention of the first world's more powerful Denzians. Believe it or not, but saved lands has been chosen as the next location for the inconsequent debates. Oh, I hate these. The inconsequent debates? What's that? Curious phenomenon that isn't all that well, that isn't very well known. They say it's based on a bet made by the eldest, the rulers of the first world. Quite a long time ago, one day one of them sent a delegation of Fae to Galarian. They announced where the competition would take place. Don't let the name fool you, it's anything but debates. The contests begin as soon as they have enough participants. The contest and the reward are different every time, although every time is a stretch. Only three such occasions are known over thousands of years. Anyway, it's happened again, and this time the reward is a chance to ask any question whatsoever of the host. The competition's mastermind. This creature, whoever it is, speaks on behalf of the eldest. Do you see why we can't miss such a chance? Uh, don't know. Just think, we have an opportunity to ask a question of the host, the messenger of the self-appointed deities of the first world, and demand an answer. The gnomes originally ventured from the first world, lost their immortality because of it, and received our curse in exchange. The bleaching. 
No one has discovered the reasons for it, and none can stave off its consequences. But if we manage to win the competition... Are we completely in the dark here? You never know what mad ideas the Fae may have cooked up. I only know one condition. Only teams of three are allowed to participate. Know anything about these debates, or will we be completely in the dark? Okay. Who do you think we should take as our third? I think we should take Lindsay. Something tells me the Fae are not likely to be to hold competitions in rope pulling or beer drinking. The skills of a bard might come in handy. Besides, we should give the young lady a chance to channel some of that energy. Can it be dangerous? Considering the Fae are involved, absolutely. But if the Chronicles are true, no one has died in any previous debate. Okay, well, we can't pass it up. We agree to participate. Great, I'll mark the spot on the map where the competition will take place. The sooner we arrive there, the better. The Fae Lords won't wait forever. Okay, now we've got another thing to do. Now, this is the one thing about this chapter. About the whole going after... Uh, what do you say? Uh, going after Varnhold. This is a feature of the game. You're like, I gotta get to Varnhold. I gotta get to Varnhold. Oops, you gotta take care of poachers. Oops, you gotta take care of gemstones. Oops, you gotta take care of this debate. Oops, oops, oops. You will spend probably a game week or two clearing these things out of your way so that you can head north and get things done. It's just the way it works. You're just, you'll just you chip away days here, there, and yon. It doesn't really matter that you get there a little bit late, but it makes you feel like do I? they're trying to trick you here into saying, I don't have time for these debates. I have to go take care of Arnhold. You do have time. Do not be deceived. And these things are worth tons of experience points, so they're definitely worthwhile to go do. Okay? Uh, we're all fatigued, aren't we? Or did we rest? I guess we're not rested yet. Okay, um, I've talked with him. Now I've got to go in here. He's going to want to... What else have I got going on here? I took his audience. I've got two days for her. A couple of 11 days here. More stuff's going to happen. I could take the time to rank up somebody. Could take up the treasurer. Where are my stats? Treasury is at four. So I could take up relations or divine or culture. All of those would not hurt me. They would all get me a point. So I could take a couple weeks to get those things up and have everybody there. What's my time? I am hour 48. I wonder if we can do the consequential debates. Hmm. Well, it's just going to be him, me, and Lindsay. Ugh. Stats. Arcane's not going to be high enough to do what I want to do. Dang it. I'm annoyed. I can't get what I want done. All right, uh, well, it doesn't, I don't think I'll take the time to do it now. Um, I need to check on Jubilist, right? Because we're going to be going adventuring with Jubilist and Lindsay alone. That's going to be the, the two people. So let's go to Jubilist. Where are you, Jubilist? Let's check your spouse. He's got a couple Cure Lights. Shield, two strike, and expeditious retreat, and bomber's eye. One round for level, so it'll last 11 rounds. You can throw things farther. Okay. The second level spells are make his dexterity better, a bark skin spell for himself, and false life, which he'll cast immediately when we leave out the door. He can put protection from arrows on all of us. He's got a resist energy type. Cure critical. 
the invisibility, haste, haste. I think... That's kind of a duplicate on what she can do. So we're going to have an extra one of those. Because Lindsay kind of covers that. You got two greater invisibilities in your Okay, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go take a map. Take a nap, get Jubilus ready, and then we're going to go, depending on if anything happens to the kingdom, then we're going to go try and do these consequential debates, if I can find them on the map. Okay, come back out here. Is there stuff going on? Nothing going on in the kingdom. No exclamation points. So now we got to take Jubilus. Oh my goodness, how do I have my inventory? Is this going to be too much for us to carry? Uh-oh. Jubilus, what kind of belt do you have on? Uh, Jubilus, you're going to have to put on the strength belt, I think. Because we can't carry all this stuff. Right? I don't think we can carry all this stuff. 481 pounds. Uh, we'll find out right away. Okay, nobody can come with us. Except Jubilist. Oh, arrow went up a level. I gotta get him up a level. But this is what I have to take on this. In due time. Inventory weight's too heavy. Okay. So carrying too much. Be most of this. Okay, hopefully that's enough. Shall we try again? I gotta remember to grab all that stuff when I come back. Okay. Now we get out here on the map, we need to find out where this place is. It's not that far. Is it? Damn it, where is it? (sighs) 
consequential debates. So we're gonna run up here. It'll take me 20 hours. Hopefully, I'm not gonna get attacked. Probably will. I don't have anybody that I put in stealth yet, so we won't we won't be able to get away anyway. So we're going straight up. All right. The only thing I can do is I can put on dark skin. Cast heroism on me. Oh, stop! So, any brilliant ideas? Cast false life on yourself, so you have some extra hit points. And you've got a whole bunch of explosive bombs. What are we dealing with? Cobalt. I'm there. You require my assistance? Why don't you let me finish my charge? That's very rude of you. Masterwork like crossbow. It's just a short bow. It's only worth eight. We'll leave the short bow. Masterwork thing is worth it. All right, Follow let's get out of here. You dare. Trying to get to these consequential debates. That's probably all going to be all I can do. I'm not going to get to Varnhold here. All right, continue on. Get me up to my village so I can rest. Sell off that thing. All right, we're going to go into Trade Guard, because there'll be a vendor to sell off that Masterwork Light crossbow. And the gems. I think I picked up a gem or two, too. And Let's see, I've got that. I don't want that. So much trout. Oh, these. That's what's weighing me down so much. There we go. I have a fish from Silver Step Lake that never goes away.
Soft cheese. Lots of soft cheese. Don't need that. Rock egg. No, I need to keep that. Don't need the pocket mirror. All right, yeah. No 155 gold for that. Come back over here. We'll do a rest so that we're full up. Going into the thingy. Then we go in here. Oh. Uh. Okay, I'm just looking at some notes here. Uh, okay. So I have to go, I think it's this way. I'm not sure, my notes aren't real clear. On which side I'm supposed to go up. I was trying to make sure I go out the right side. I hope it's this side, from what I wrote. Yeah, okay. I wasn't real clear if it was right then left or left then right. It was left then right, okay. So we go into the bit of eights, here we go. Enter this location. We're in trouble. Right here in River City. Here in the, a very pale gnome with a dull, brittle hair is scribbling something busily on a small scroll. Now looking up as you approach. Ah, here you are at last. Go read the rules quickly. They're posted a little further along. The other teams are already arrived a while ago. The host said we'll start as soon as you show up and read the rules. Of course, I'm famous enough for my admirers to follow my every move, but still, I'd like to know, how did you know we were coming? The gnome shrugs, the host said so. Well, are we going to keep wasting time? Read the rules and we'll start. So they're just gonna go up and read the rules. I don't have any choice in this. What's this one? It doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me which one's which. Does this thing tell me which one's which? I'll start in the middle of workout.
Nick Flash looks at the paper describing his rules. Well, let's see, I'll read out loud so everyone can hear. Rules for the com inconsequent debates. Year to be added later. I see the authors didn't out overstrain themselves. So the rules. Item 1. Obey the host and everything. Item 2. Come in triplets. Item 3. No fighting, no killing each other, even temporarily, even if you really want to, even if you apologize later. <laughs> Item 4. The most important one. The participant must say tentacles at least every ten, ten words. What's this nonsense? I expected to see tentacles. I mean, a description of the rules of the tentacles. Wait, wait. What the? Am I really talking about tentacles all the time now? Turns his head from side to side, throws his hands in the air as so if trying to close his mouth. Fiona, I'm not joking. This is some kind of tentacles. It's making me say tentacles every few words. Reception 20, I have up 21. Examine the rules. Something's obviously wrong here. It's not difficult to see the text of the last item of the rules is a little different from the others. It looks like someone just added it in, vaguely copying the style. To the others, I would say someone inserted it on purpose and charmed the scroll somehow. Someone's idea of a tentacles. I'll find that joker and make him eat my tentacles. Ugh. With indignation bombs. Then he'll know what tentacles means. Dribbles grabs his head. What am I to do? If this doesn't stop, tentacles won't be able to participate in the tentacle. <laughs> we used to play a game at the academy where we had to make a song and repeat a word every few lines. Let me try. How might I look impeccable when I keep saying tentacles? To look so, I would... To do so, I would recommend holding out a tentacle to your friend. This is not funny. Are you saying the last tentacles was, uh, the last rule was written in some other tentacles must have done it? Participant. We need to find whoever tentacles this immediately. Let them get these tentacles from me. Oh, identify the trick. I'll go around to the host and ask him a few questions for my book. It'll buy some time. Start looking for whoever's responsible for this. Okay, okay, good. Go away. Sir Allery. Greetings. I am Sir Allery, loyal father of the tentacles of Iomede. Iomede. Knight, noble, and crusader of from end of tentacles. Oh yes, my knightly motto used to be courteous even in death, but I'm afraid it now must be changed to severing the tentacles of evil. Just a few phrases. He managed to pour more pom 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 pomposity on us than I can manage in a week. Quite a talent. Why does anyone change that, Sir Alfrey? You see, upon my arrival, I immediately went to read the tentacles of the event, but Guile already had me in its tentacles. The rules were charmed. Everyone who reads them must say tentacles every so often, which is happening to me now, tentacles. If I can't get rid of this affliction, at least tentacles, I can make it into my motto. <laughs> Try to talk to the host about this. I did in the name of tentacles, but Faye, they're cheating. Think that cheating with the rules is tentacles and perfectly appropriate. As a true knight, I must overcome these tentacles resolutely. Uh, it was done by one of the participants who allowed their tentacles to guide their heart, including you and me and my tentacles. Four team of three arrived. I swear my tentacles, my servers, and the most honest Iomede would ever allow such tentacles, nor would I suspect you and your outstanding companions, noble tentacles, all for the villain one of the two teams. So you're Mendivian Crusader, cruelly spoken. I hope you have heard about her glorious tentacles. Our order fights demons fearlessly, preventing their tentacles from spreading across the world. Yeah, that's where the uh, second uh, the follow-up to this Wrath of the Righteous is set in that, in Mendev, in that, in that whole fighting demons thing. It's kind of very interesting. Oh, and some of the people that you will meet in here, like some of the traitors and things like that, some of these people actually, if you don't, they don't know that you might, I mean, if you kill them off here, they don't know that you kill them off here. But uh, some of the traitors, and there's a few other, like, minor people show up there as minor characters as well in the in the follow-up and it's just if you played this one first and then you go play that one and then all of a sudden you're like wait a minute that's what's his name from back in pathfinder it's like so you get to see some uh some pullover i really like that they did that with uh, wrath of the righteous it's a lot of fun i don't need an officer spheres are not so uncommon in our tentacles titles are known to aid mendevian crusaders in our war against the demons sometimes the camaraderie sparks the tentacle i mean personal attraction but just the presence of a holy celestial nearby can sometimes cause the birth of an asmir child see the easiest tentacles <laughs> okay i think i have to go before you leave let me ask you in any other times don't consider it idle custody what need brought you to the tentacles debates that would be tentacles oh does not help me I meant that would be tentacles. Ah, it was I who requested the Baroness help in the tentacles. 
Victory would allow us to find out what made tentacles combs. What made gnomes leave the first world. Okay. <laughs> so you are following the victim of the same affliction as tentacles, O brother in arms. The knight's voice is filled with heartfelt solidarity. Indeed, but a champ prevent me from receiving an answer to my tentacles. As you probably know, after leaving the first world, my kin suffered from tentacles from the bleaching. I seek a way to end this terrible, terrible tentacles. In that case, I wish our worthy rivals good tentacles in the name of truth, justice, and tentacles. <laughs> How many times can I say tentacles? <laughs> okay, this is the Koval. I'm going to raise this now at you. Greetings. Are you participating? Yes, participate. I participate. What is this I hear? A Koval, a few trolls. Your fellow tribesmen of unforgettable Tarta? Damn his tentacles. Is it in decided dependent debates? To say it's a little cold is very proud of himself. Why do you have those Jerboas there? So it says, Face say need three. I know three. No, I know friends. One would go very much. Caught this jump mice. Now we are three. Participate. <laughs> Anything like that happen to you? I don't read. No help me. Read for me aloud, but then scream. I scared. Are you participating in the debate? So you want to ask those rooms? I dragon. How become dragon? All right, I'll call. All right, yeah. Call it one of your dragons. All right, I gotta talk to this dude. It's the other one. The old gnome reads aloud to his eyes, and the young wizard desperately thrashed about in his fetters, but all in vain. The shoots of the plants held him tightly. The nymph, cruel and horrible, sneered at him, and immediately. And immediately what? Giant frog. And immediately anything. Left frog is marking the right one. Does this book ever end? Thought the wizard would die in the last chapter while he was running from the horde of unicorns through fields of giant flytrap. Oh, like you understand anything about literature, you stupid toad. The gnome looks at you. Ah, hello again, travelers. It seems I haven't introduced myself. I am Nirid Satanropel. And these two idiots are my brothers, Vyar and Loyor. So what did they immediately do to the wizard? Why are you calling those frogs your brothers? Read the rules, and the rules are charm. Near its colorless and dim eyes flow up with a mad, joyful fire. When it reads them, turns into a frog. Now I have two frog brothers. I guess I'll leave them as they are. When else will I ever have a chance to laugh so much? Yes, they responds very quickly. Now nah, the frog on the right says happily. Shut up, Lure. Of course we did. We read them and we transformed. Now we're sitting and croaking. Said one of you helped him read the rules. Yeah, that's true, but he wasn't trying to read the frog rules. They're different on every pole. One turns you into a frog, another makes you say tentacles, and the third one makes you, sc makes you scream like crazy. Hilarious, right? Not remotely. You are confused, my friends. If one of you read the rules for the kobold, why isn't one of you screaming? How was it that both your brothers tur turned into frogs? And if Nirid already saw what happened and knew the rules were charmed, then why did she tell us to read them? Do you suspect of something? Why would we use charm? Would we charm the rules and read them ourselves? Or make you read them and put a spell on you? Nirid adjusts a ridiculous helm and strikes a rakish pose. Let's consider the tentacles. Who else would decide to make everyone else say tentacles? And who else would get caught in their own tentacles just for laughs? You're far-sighted and loud-voiced. I like you. Did you charm the rules? Everything I know is our sister's the one who did it. No snitching, Laura. You're just jealous that it was Nira who came up with the idea. And why did you do it? You're so boring. We wanted to. We did it. We just think how funny it will be. Debates where all participants are screaming or talking about tentacles or just croaking. Nerd roars with laughter. But we're honest players. We so we charmed ourselves too. We wouldn't want an unfair advantage. So this is me at least jubilous from the spell. Croak, croak, croak. We understand nothing. He pretends not to hear anything. You know, I'd say, let's just, let's leave things as they stand. Tentacles should easily win the debates, even with the word tentacles constantly jumping out of my mouth. 
I think I won't use force. I only have a plus 26. Okay, he wants me to leave it alone, so let's just leave it alone. There you are. Glad I found you. I stalled as long as I could, but now it's time to begin. Let's go quickly. Here we go. I'm going to pull up my little wiki thing here in case there's something special I'm supposed to remember to do. Okay, the host. The hooded creature looks mundane, but after looking for a time, one might notice the figure's contours tremble and flow as in a haze. Welcome to the inconsequent debates. You can call us the host. We are the reason for all that happens here today. You've read the rules, have you not? Not that there is anything useful in them. We only made up the real rules the day after tomorrow. <laughs> yes, the day after tomorrow. Then forgot them and had to make new ones. So it's simple. You want, as your reward, for us to answer a question, so the competition will involve answering questions. We ask, and one in each triplet answers, and always the same one. The others can only prompt. Let's see. It will be you, Little Cobalt, you, Sir Alfre, you, Nirid, and you, Fiona. Remember one thing here at the Inconsequent Debates. There are no right or wrong answers. Every answer has weight, and each will be weighed. Don't choose the lightest one. Your rival might find a heavier argument. And most importantly, light answers are no fun for us. Why are you referring to yourself in the plural, host? Your laughter emerged from under the hood. You know very well you've met us, Fiona, but it was a different us at a different time. For now, be satisfied that we do not wish to disclose ourselves. Um, I'm just going to say let's go. Begins the jump, jump, jump for joy. We are ready. The knight dodge resolutely, despite the tentacles. All right, let's see how tough they have it in the first world. Some of you look so serious. Thus, we'll begin with a question about weighty matters. What can move a mountain? Um, Jubilus Lindsay. What's the name? What can move a mountain? My grandmother, Magic God. Jubilus, Lindsay? I shouldn't have skipped my philosophy lessons at the academy. Such problems baffle me. It's not because I can't think of an answer, but because I can think of a thousand of them at once, and I don't know where I can hide from them. <laughs> I hope you're smart enough to see that it's tentacles. Answer, its own will. There's at least one mountain with tentacles in the first world. This time, it's no joke. Tentacles on... Ulas, the walking mountain, moves by its own will on tentacles. Yeah, Try it. Your laughter from underneath the hood. We like this answer. It's worth two. But what do the others say? What can move a mountain? Maybe dragon? Dragon can move a mountain. Faith and divine intervention. Do you hear my faithful tentacles? Faith nourishes us without devout faith in our tentacles and a righteous cause. Everything is within our tentacles. <laughs> Teleportation spell. <laughs> I could probably manage moving a hill or two, in fact. That gives me an idea. We have heard you. Now you hear us. Of course, gods and magic can move mountains. But that answer is good for any question. How can one jump over the house? Magic. How can a paint a fence yellow using blue paint? Divine intervention. Such light answers are the weakest. Good answer is its own will. Will and desire lie at the base of all our emotions. Action and decision. If a mountain has a will, it will surely find a way to move. That was an interesting round. Let the next question be heard. Okay, question number two. What weakens when owned by many and dies if owned by none? Owned by many, dies if owned by none. Weakens and owned by many, dies of... That's a secret. All right? Too many people know it's a weakened, it's not really a secret. But if nobody knows, it's it's not even a secret. Nobody has it. A secret. I don't even know. Little Cobalt looks as if he's about to cry. I don't know this. Maybe it's a dragon. <laughs> it's, it's the knight's heart. I swear by my tentacles. It can belong to himself or to the righteous cause of his great... Or to his great tentacles. <laughs> it can't belong to everybody. 
giant frog. Arr, look how I can roll my eyes. <laughs> Fools concentrate on the competition. <laughs> this won't do. We don't accept the answer from Zotentropel triplet this round, but you are a spectacle, spectacular eye roller. Now as for the other answers, the heart is not the best answer. Even among knights, there are many whose hearts belong to beautiful women and a beloved mother Plus their friends, their commander, their righteous cause, and a delicious lunch. Especially a delicious lunch. And it doesn't seem that those hearts that belong to many grow any weaker. A secret is a good answer. The more souls know it, the less mysterious it is. But without a single bearer, it will die. Your triplet wins this round, Baroness. Okay, so I think I've won two. Here are the third question. Each of us is born at the same time with a monster. Each day we live, it grows. It can torment, bring us joy, or kill without a single word. What is it? Okay, same time with a monster. Each day we live, it grows. What do you think, Jubilist? I think it's memory. I ended up saying tentacles, so I asked me. Tentacles is not the answer to the question. I hope you understand. Tentacles. So if we think logically and flex the tentacles of our minds, the answer must be some property of a living creature. Hmm. Tentacles, something is born with, grows over its life, just like... It's tentacles. Guess what word I will never say again. Tentacles. I mean knowledge. The answer is knowledge. We receive it at every tentacles and can aid us in killing. I don't think so. Because it said it can do either. I'm going to go memory. You ever heard you? What will they say in the monster? Has stress. Maybe it's a dragon? <laughs> Curiosity is born with us, it grows by day day, it saves us from the bleaching, and if only you knew how many it's killed. I don't know the answer will do, but the great tentacles is the one that lives inside us. We grow as tentacles beasts in our soul. We feed it with wrath, neglecting tentacles. Eventually it could break free and kill us, but tentacles must admit the same beast gives strength to villains and tentacles. The poison we feed our monsters only nourishes them. Interesting answer, except for the dragon. Dragon doesn't count, alas. Curiosity is also insufficient. The monster we described must grow by its own nature. By its own nature grow. Many see their curiosity dim over the years. Memory is a good answer. We also like the idea of the inner beast inside each of us. Both of these answers are sadly light, but we are ready to accept them. For this round, we shall have two half-winners. The triplet of Seraphia and the triplet of the Baroness. Okay. One final trial and we will sum up the results. I go tired of questions. Do you know the game Night Dragon Snag? Knight defeats the dragon. The dragon burns the snag, but if the knight walks in the woods, he will stumble on the snag and die. That's why the snag defeats the knight. Children's games, great. These are the inconsequent debates. Why not play a game? So you break up into pairs and yell out your chosen word at the signal. The one who shouts knight defeats the one who shouts dragon. The one who shouts dragon defeats the one who shouts snag. And snag defeats knight. We'll play Sir Alfrey against the kobold and Nard something against the Baroness. The winners will then play each other. It's first pair. Ready? Yell on three. One, two, three. This was all too predictive, but charming in a way. The host is obviously enjoying the game. It's it's a good thing we didn't look ahead. It's much more fun to see it unfold like this. Sir Alfrey wins. Now for the second pair. Are you ready? One, two, three. Dragon. Nurid shouts, performing a... Shouts for an version of the kobold, then falls over laughing. Looks like her own amusement is more important than her... than the competition. A tie. Let's go again. One, two, three. Dragon. Snag! Ah, damn it, nerd. Waves his hands. I meant to cheat, but it didn't have the time to think of how. Dragon one, dragon one, one. Little Cobalt's happy for you and your dragon, as if it was her own victory.
So the Baroness wins. Now the winner against the winner. The Baroness against the Knight. One, two, three. Well, you know he's going to call Knight, right? Snag. Takes over. Tentacles! Realizing now this was work, narrative brothers start roaring with laughter, sometimes sniffling with delight. Host makes a helpless gesture. We cannot pronounce the Baroness the winner of this round, and now it's time. We cannot but pronounce the Baroness winner of this round, and now it's time to announce the winner of the debates. After four tests, the triplet of the Baroness and Sir Jubilus wins. It was most amusing, children, most amusing. You should know that this is a rare praise from us. Congratulations, sirs and ladies. I swear by my tentacles it was a worthy struggle. <laughs> Your triplet performed better than we could have imagined. For that reason, you may ask us not one and not two, but three questions. They must be asked by the Baroness, the voice of your triplet. Do you remember the fate of the gnomes? Special and stuff talking. He opens his clothes and mouth makes no sound. Have a silent spell, mate. Haha, I love it. Now, what's he going to do? Come, brothers, let's run. Now, everything is in your hands, Fiona. Think well upon your questions. We will answer honestly, but I don't know it's. But I don't know is also an honest answer. Ask about what a host from the first world might know. First one I want to know is why the gnomes left the first world. I want to make Jubilus happy. That's why we came here. There is the question. We knew it would be asked, but a simple answer, a light answer, no, was no, has no man value, right? We hope our debates convinced you of this. This is why we present you to another answer, a good one, a valuable one. Numbers will help you on your way. One of them is fifth in ten. It will be easy to find if you read who opened the road for the ancient dead man. And his black feathered messenger, the second is a dozen times in a dozen. Second is a dozen times in a dozen. And th and is thrice the number of those who lost their faces. Don't try to guess it now. It's not yet time. Wait until he who is born twice will twice be defeated. Put the two numbers together. When the move leaves her path near the waters of Candlemere, find the one who will open the secret. Oi! I always disliked that. A heap of senseless mumble instead of a... First walk the road, then you may accuse us of being senseless, but in the end, you won't. Do I want to know who my love is? This lets you know if you have any other love interests going on. I want to know why you organized all this. We were bored. That's the fate for you. Try living multiple eternities like us. Your views on entertainment might change radically. So I get a third one. I want to know how to gain power and immortality. Suggestions for a good pet name. I want to know about this affliction, the bloom that fell on my barony. Uh, or do I want to know who my love is? Well, I don't have anybody in chat to tell me what to pick, so I don't know. I think I know who my love is, just based on the wiki. I think I'm fine with Tristan here. Um... Want to know about this affliction, the bloom that fell on my barony? <sighs> Any suggestions for a good pet name? <laughs> know why this question is so popular. All right, let's see. This hasn't happened yet, and this we've seen, so for you, it's in the future. This is a fragment of the past, an important one. The host keeps mumbling like this for a while. How intricate. Your heart leans towards Tristan, and the sunny creature also 
feels a certain affection for you, but that is all. We wouldn't want to get ahead of ourselves. That was your final question. Yes, okay. We have the answer, and, we, and yet we don't. But what an adventure, Fiona. We have discussed this, so further on return to the capsule of 360 strange points. Very well, Fiona. Almost, we almost forgot. The host turns to the cobalt. You, little creature. You didn't win, but you managed to make us laugh. Do you want to come with us? No promises you'll turn into a dragon, but still. Cobalt jumps for joy, but then carefully asks, pointing at the gerbus. Take my friends? Yes? All right, fine. The hooded creature laughs. Listen, all... In consequence, your are now closed. We spare all of you the effects of Zonthral tricks and bid you farewell. Okay. I don't think there's anything here. I don't know why my animals won't come out normally. Oh, I'm not even here. So there's nothing for me to grab. There's no, there's no loot, right? I can't remember if I found anything. It's been a long time since I did this particular quest. I don't think Get in the tent. So, you just gotta go back. And risk getting attacked. Oh, I can actually take more people. I can take more people. I can bring more bodies here. For the trip home. Well, that would be interesting. Bring her and uh, these two, just for kicks. It's not letting me take them. There we go. Take six hours to get here. Something going on in my kingdom. Octavia! Serious news. The magistrate built varies around the villages and penetrable to creatures from other planes, and this helped. Later, they discovered that the giant mushrooms had emerged from the first world. Okay. She did good. What else have I got going? I are still going for nine days. And I can't do a rank up till I'm back in the thing, so I have to get back to town to go home. It's such a long way away. 17 hours. <coughs> Probably have to rest along the way. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, just make Adventures it. Adventures can wait. I just made it. I don't have to wait. I can go into the throne room and see if anything happens. It's my time. And we're at about two and a half hours, so we're going to be back in the throne room again. I've been trying to keep these at about two and a half hours because that seems to be the time that, you know, two hours to two and a half hours. Uh, we added the extra half hour because I wanted to get in the con inconsequential debates because I think it's just hilarious, uh, the questions and the tentacles. Um, you can get him, you can have him be afflicted with all three of those things and still win the debates. I made a mistake on one of them when I said uh, memory. Um, but past is really the one that wins. But you've got to get a wisdom DC 20 to figure it out. And so it wasn't one of my choices. So that's why I took the one that gives you plus one. Okay. Um. So yeah, that puts us back in our thing. We're going to have to rest before we leave, obviously. Um, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like to see, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. Be notified upload videos. Uh, please come join me uh, Saturday mornings at about 11 o'clock uh, Central Time. Um, U.S. Central Time. Uh, it's when I go on the adventures of Fiona. I try to go for about two to two and a half hours, unless I'm really in the middle of a big battle in that second hour, in the last hour. You know, between two and three, I 
can go as long as uh, to three hours. If I'm like in a really big battle, I'll finish it off before I close down. I won't stop in the middle of the battle. But I have been trying to keep it at about two to two and a half hours so that it's a little bit easier for people to kind of skim through and get through. Um, I haven't had the time. I've been meaning to go back. I'm going to actually try and get uh, a couple of my children to help me maybe go back through some of these videos and chapter mark things uh, with the various streams that I've been doing because they are, uh, you know, they are long, two to three hours, and sometimes you don't want to see me talking with uh, Jubilist or whatever, you just want to see me out on the road or whatever, so I can, you know, kind of chapter mark where where the important bits are and whether you're interested in them or not. Some people may want to know what all the kingdom, you know, management stuff I do, so I need to mark those things, but I just haven't had the time. Personal life is, uh, real life is getting in the way of me creating stuff, which is annoying, but that's the way it goes, right? Right. All right. I'm Gun 608. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.